Hi there, Sam here and welcome to this video on Authoritas Visibility Explorer. This tool offers a fantastic range of insights on everything from domain benchmarking to keyword optimization, content gap analysis and much more. In this video I'll run through how the tool works as well as introduce you to some of the metrics available. Visibility Explorer is powered by a big data collection of more than 125 million keywords across 26 countries, which we rank, check and update every month. This data is combined with additional elements such as information on ranking pages and click-through rate modelling in order to power all of the widgets, charts and tables that can be found within the tool. To get started, I need to first enter a domain to analyse. I can search for any site right here and as you can see, the term will return a list of sites based on my query. If you have a project set up with Authoritas already, then the data from the primary domain of your project will automatically be returned here. I have added the online fashion brand Boohoo as an example, and I will go ahead and bring in a few competitors as well. I can add up to 25 domains here at once, helping me to build a detailed picture of the market. Right away you can see that the widgets on this overview page are dynamic, and will update to include the data from any sites I bring in. What's more, I instantly gain access to historical data for these domains. By default this is set to 6 months, but I can expand or shorten this as needed by using the date filter on the top right hand side of the screen. These widgets are designed to give you a view into critical performance areas, including how the number of ranking pages have changed over time, how visible a domain is in Google based on its makeup of ranking keywords, and the types of results that are out there in the SERPs. Whether you are an agency, a single brand, or multi-brand operation, Visibility Explorer allows you to quickly tap into crucial data on how a site is being found on Google. Scrolling down, I can see a line graph. This is preset to show a visibility index over the last six months. But by clicking on the arrow in the top right, I can choose between a number of other visualizations. To make things easier, all of these charts are really self-explanatory, with views into average rank over time, your potential uplift to visibility, and the value of your organic traffic. Right above the line graph, I have a couple of tabs that I can switch into. I am currently here in overview, but if I jump to ranking URLs, the view changes. This table summarizes the ranking pages for the sites that I've entered into Visibility Explorer, ordering them from the largest visibility index down. We then provide you with some top line metrics for each. For example, if we take the top URL from the table, which is our competitor's homepage, I can see that this page has 7,141 keywords ranking for it, and these terms are generating a visibility index of nearly 1.9 million. The grey equals symbol here shows me that there is no change between this data point and the last month. Please note that red numbers indicate a drop, and green numbers indicate an increase in visibility index. Potential visibility is something that we will look at in more detail on the next tab, but for now we can see that the page has little over 44,000 more visibility to gain by better optimising the keywords that already rank for the URL. All that's left is visibility value, which simply puts a value on organic traffic. I know that the ASOS homepage attracts a visibility index of almost 1.9 million, and this is worth over $365,000 for our competitor. You can think of this as how much money you are effectively saving by not having to buy your traffic through PPC, and performing well at an organic level instead. Each column can be filtered to help you drill down into the data, and your account manager can provide you the details of the operators that can be used to filter information. Clicking on the cog icon here will allow you to download the table as a CSV if you're interested in manipulating the data further through software like Excel. The final tab is ranking keywords. Data here is broken down on a keyword by keyword level, and it's important to note that the list will always come from the domain that we have entered first into Visibility Explorer, which is Boohoo in this instance. This tab is perhaps the most important, allowing you to see how each individual term is ranking, as well as the potential around a keyword. For instance, I could use the keyword filter here to first focus on a general topic I am interested in, such as jeans. This returns just over 1,500 terms from a starting value of 68,635 keywords for Boohoo. High Waisted Jeans is at the top of my table, and this ranks organically at position 6 for Boohoo, but it generates a video and shopping result as well that I could target. My current visibility index by being at rank 6 is 2,682, and my potential is plus 2,256. This means that I could see a visibility index of 4,938 by climbing up the ranks, 
effectively doubling my current visibility just on this one term. In the same way as ranking URLs, all of the columns here can be filtered to help you drill down into and segment out your data. I also have the ability to compare my performance to that of my competitors. Clicking on the cog icon, I can choose which domains are displayed. I now see where these sites rank for my keywords, and taking a closer look, ASOS has a better position than I do on high-waisted jeans. There are many reasons why this could be the case, and Afrotas offers a comprehensive suite of tools to diagnose, analyze, and remedy areas that are impacting upon your organic performance. Visibility Explorer represents the first step, showing you the terms you may wish to consider as a part of your regular list of monitor keywords. Be sure to check out your upgrade options to understand how you can get the best support for your projects. Everything up until this point has been from the perspective of Boohoo. Now let's flip this around. If I remove everyone apart from ASOS, put Boohoo back in and then run a fresh search, this will give us a different view. Jumping ahead to ranking keywords, the list here is now that of ASOS. This unique perspective allows me to compare the Boohoo ranking positions on ASOS keywords, which I can use to get a steer on optimization opportunities as we have explored already. Perhaps more interestingly though, is that I can see any content gaps. Let's take ladies winter hats as an example. I know that ASOS has a rank of 1, and this blank for Boohoo shows me that I don't have a landing page for the same keyword. This kind of information is crucial for understanding where and how you might develop new content to increase overall visibility. Ladies Winter Hats is just one example and I can of course use a combination of column filters to find content gaps in specific areas, or I can export the entire view as a CSV to interrogate further. And that's it, that covers all the basics for Visibility Explorer and I hope this gives you a good introduction into what's possible through the tool. Be sure to check out our other video series, which explore the Afrotest modules in more depth. To learn more or to ask any questions, feel free to reach out using the details provided at the end of this video. See you!